He's ready, look. He's ready. Very good, great shot. Possibly coach of the season, I don't know. Some people are saying it. Some people are saying it. It's Pep Guardiola or me, I don't know. I, you know, you, you could choose, I, I don't know. We can have a game of snooker, yeah? Does anyone want to play? Do you play snooker a lot? Yeah, and pool. And pool? Yeah, I got a table for Christmas. Did you? Mm -hmm. So did I. How old are you? Well, when I was eight, that's when I got my first snooker table, was when I was eight and I got mine for Christmas. Goodness me. Very good, great shot. I might take this up. Oh, great shot, great shot. Don't worry about the rules. Oh, yeah, the I think I can just cut this green in. Oh, I hit the pink first. Nothing wrong with my eyes. This is where they get the bug, isn't it? And that's, well, that's where I got it. You know, I got my table from Santa as an eight-year-old boy and uh, just fell in love with the game. But, uh, you know, had that present not miraculously have found its way to my house, how would I have got into snooker, you know? And now naturally, just pick it up. That's exactly right. So hold it exactly like, exactly like you've got it there. Exactly like that. And now just put it, mate, you see that? You've got to put your thumb against your first finger here like this and you run the cue along that bit there. Look at that, perfect. Well done, that was fantastic. Snooker's on the curriculum in, in the Far East. Um, not just a little table like this, you know, they're, they're teaching children, it's their dream, their passion to be snooker champions one day. And who knows, maybe, the, maybe a future world champion is sat behind me here. We just don't know, but uh, we're, we're spreading the word of snooker and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Let's start with you, Emily. Caught my eye. Have you got a question you'd like to ask? Who or what inspired you to play snooker? Very good question uh, to start the day off. And I saw somebody holding the trophy aloft and I thought, I want to be that person. And um, that was what inspired me to really get involved. It was a lovely question, thank you. Um, what is your most unique achievement? My most unique achievement, goodness. So in tennis and golf, they have the majors. Uh, and in snooker we have the same, although we call them the Triple Crown, which is the UK Championships, the Masters, which just finished at the weekend, and the World Championships, that's our biggest sport. And those three make up the Triple Crown, and there are only 11 people ever to have won all three. And back in 2015, when I won the Masters, that completed my set. Those of you that watch other sports, um, like golf, or darts though might be quite interested because I think I'm the only person and I think I am unique with this. I think I'm the only person who's made a 147, which is the biggest score you can make in snooker, uh, a hole in one in golf and a nine dart finish in darts. I think I'm the only person on the planet who's done that. Who is your all time favorite snooker player? There was a guy in the 1980s who was the best player in the world. And he tried to win the world championships and he had a shot like this. And it was one of the easiest shots in the world. And he missed it. And he lost the tournament. And he was devastated afterwards. But he got himself back together. He got himself off the canvas. And he tried again and he went again and he kept going. He had resilience and perseverance and strength of mind, strength of character. He never gave up. And that was a man called Steve Davis. It was like the journos were here asking, you know, grilling me, you know, over uh, something I'd said. And of course, I never say anything, uh, you know, <laughs> newsworthy anyway. But uh, no, the questions here were great. And, and it's great to get into the minds of children. Children have a way of disarming you because uh, they just ask you the question. Uh, uh, why did you miss that part? Uh, why didn't that work? What got you into it? You know, why did you want to do it? They just ask the question everyone wants to know the answer to. Uh, and it, I have to say, it's been fabulous spending time here this morning.